Yeah, this was one of those very rare cases when I was actually better prepared for this line than Kramnik. I mean, usually it just doesn't happen in any line, but I, I, I somehow got lucky that I very recently I checked this line and I saw that Queen d6 is wrong because of knight e5. I actually never thought that I would get it at the board because computer actually shows knight e5, but this um, game was already played in Gelf and Carlsen a couple of years back, and Carlsen also played Queen d6, and both of these players missed knight e5. So somehow this is the case of this, uh, um, of this common blindness. For some reason, 95 is probably just not intuitive. But once, uh, once I played 95, I think Kramnik realized that something was wrong for black. But also it was very complicated. I was not at all sure that it was going to be easy. And at the end, I got lucky that all my tactics seemed to work. I mean, this was one of those days. And at some point, I think he had to try to go rook c8 to exchange the rooks. Instead, he started to play for small tactics with queen e7, queen e8, and knight c4, trying to, uh, to get one of my pawns on e3 or b2. And this plane didn't work for him. So, but it was difficult to foresee this. I, I also I did not foresee that this would be so horrible for black. Just the point was that his whole counterplay was uh, directed against my pawn on e3. And at the end, it turned out he cannot take it because it just loses tactically, and after this somehow the black position collapsed. But it was difficult to foresee this. Yeah, I mean, of course nobody expected us to do that well, but we did, uh, I think, we did spoil today's match, because Jumaev was completely winning against Fiddler on board 3, so we had, I mean, we had a fair chance to make it 2-2, and now we are probably going to lose, but, I mean, given the fact that, okay, we beat Ukraine the day before and uh, played 2-2 against Germany, so far it's a pretty decent Olympiad for us. Yeah.